guys, welcome back. I figured I'd do another video while my kids are at their father's. Um, if you like my videos, like I said before, subscribe, 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 and hit the like button if you like my videos, no pressure. Um, click the little bell button. A lot of people have this problem. Click the little bell button and click all, because if you don't, you're going to miss my other videos, giveaways, you won't get notifications, shit sucks. Um, so I wanted to talk about adjustments with dentures. Now the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I had about the last two weeks, seven people email me and have them get mad at their dentist because their denture doesn't fit anymore. Okay, let me tell you guys something. I understand in the beginning of the denture journey, because trust me, I do. But if you overdo adjustments on your denture, you will fuck it up. You will. Um, don't. You have to get used to your denture. A lot of people are like, um, you know, it hurts. It's gonna hurt. You have a device in your face. Shit's gonna hurt like a bitch. Um, for immediate denture people. So, I mean, if it's like jammed up here and jammed up here and here, do the adjustment. Do a little, guys. A little. So many people are like, no, I want more. No, I want more. No, I want more. And now, psh, the, everything goes in, it floods it out, and adhesive can't even stay in. So, please limit your adjustments. And I'm sure some of you people watching this video, it's happened to you, and you're like, shit, she's right. Yeah. Yep. And I got lucky because a few people told me before I even got it done, they said, Heather, don't over adjustment your denture. And she was like, you know why? Because it happened to me and I, you know, couldn't get used to the, the denture and I felt uncomfortable and I just kept making them shave it off. She's like, and then they wouldn't anymore because they were afraid I was going to over adjustment. So she's like, I bought a Dremel. I did it myself. And now it's so freaking like, she's like, it's so low. Even if she just swallows, it pushes up and goes inside of it. She can't even wear adhesive. She literally couldn't wear her denture for four freaking months. She had to get a whole new denture. So please be careful. Yes, if you do need adjustment, get an adjustment. Because as your gum shrink, your denture is going to go up. So if it's like jamming into your bone here and like up your friggin' nose. Um, and I don't mean like sitting by it because it's supposed to do that. I'm talking about like it's embedded into your nose. Um, yes, get an adjustment. But do like, a, like some at a time because you're going to regret it. Um, a little goes a long way is what I like to tell people. But... Um, Sorry, I'm getting my coffee. I have dry mouth, so... Oh, you can't even see it. I'll show you my cup. I like Dunkin' Donuts, I do. Um, moving along. Adjustments. Don't over adjustment, guys. I do my own damn adjustments, because we're in quarantine, my damn dentist is shut down. And I'll only go to him. Oh, that's good coffee. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down before I drink it all. Um... If you guys want to see that videos that I did, and the reason why I made the videos is to make you guys' lives easier. If you're sitting home and you're like, oh my god, I can't even swallow or even smile because it's freaking embedded into my face, watch the video. Go to my uploads, well, go to my videos on my channel and scroll down, you'll see the adjustments. I did a video on basically almost everything, guys. I've done like 120 videos in, in two and a half months since I've been doing this. Um, I talk a lot. I do. But I think it helps when somebody's in the beginning of the journey and they can talk about what they go through because it makes it easier. Like if it's, you know, in two more years I started these videos, I'm going to forget everything I went through in my denture journey. So that's why I did this because I wanted to go through it with you guys. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. You'll get used to me. Or, sorry if you don't. But, I adjustments guys be careful just like the okay here's another adjustment we're gonna have a little chat about your friggin palate i understand palates can be annoying because when i swallow the water hits my back palate and goes in the back of my throat and i choke it's been a lot lately i've been doing that and i'm like good lord my son's like mommy small gulps small gulps mommy and i just my son's my cheerleader it's so cute um my kids are very 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 supportive very supportive of what I go through. I'm blessed to raise such amazing kids. But if you keep shaving off your freaking palate, guys. Okay, first of all, if you're having gagging or you want to throw up videos, like I've done videos like that. Um, you know, if you're having problems with your palate, I did do like three videos 
to help with speech, to help with swallowing, to do all that. Now, the reason why gagging is such a big thing is because it's the back of your tongue that's hitting your palate. And if the back of your tongue, which is very sensitive, guys, because you don't really use the back of your tongue. It just chills there, and it just hits, you know, your normal mouth, but you're used to the normal top of your mouth. Well, when you have a denture in place, it hits those nerves, and it triggers that something is in your mouth that shouldn't be, and it's forcing you to gag. So, like my dentist and many people have told me, if you take the back of your toothbrush, soft bristle brush, guys, um, there's actually a ton scrubber majiggy thingy on it. Um... Yeah, I know, my words are different. But if you stick your tongue out, and then you just scrub in the back part, um, like, you know, where that bump goes. Anyway, scrub the back of your tongue, and do that twice a day, every day. It will desensitize it. Your gagging will be very, very little, if not completely gone. So give that a try, because I actually did that um, when it all first, you know, was going down. I didn't have much gagging, but when I did, I actually got rid of it all completely. So, if you keep shaving off, guys, your freaking palate, you're going to destroy your denture, and you're not going to have a denture. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to do a video about, um, you know, normal dentures, horseshoeing. Because there's pros and cons, guys, like you wouldn't believe. And I've been taking notes, I do my research, and I have a lot going on. I have so many doctors and shit to go, so I can't just, like, plop up videos. So I normally do it when I have time for a few minutes, and right now I have small intestine bacterial overgrowth because my autoimmune and it's been really really bad and I've been in like pajamas and scrubs for like days and days so today I decided to actually wear makeup for the first time in forever and I already want to take it off but moving along stop screwing up your denture I, I know I know guys I know that you're new to this I really do I was with you on that still I'm with you on that but you gotta understand if you're not used to it let your body get used to it if you can smile, you know, when it's not hurting in these places. Also, too, it's like, you know, my I've seen, I showed you guys videos of my denture. That it actually looks small, but it actually goes up here. And I think that's pretty cool, because when I looked at my denture, I'm like, uh, I don't think that's going to work well. And it actually goes up here. What I did notice is the more I wore my dentures, is the more my gum, like, you know the skin and the space between your jaw and your, like, cheek, like lip and cheek, you know, that... There's part and like, you know, the bone to your sinuses and jaw and all that. Anyway, there's more space now because your body acclimates to the denture. That's why they say, you know, give it time. Give it a couple months. Give it a little bit more. You know, every day does get better. It really does. But you have to have patience with yourself, guys. You do. And that's why I, that's why I make these videos because I completely freaking understand. Because when I first started out, I was like, what the hell is going on here? The pain of immediate dentures, guys. Yeah. You know, for people that don't get immediate dentures, you're my hero. <laughs> you made the right choice. I don't regret immediate dentures. I don't. I regret the first two weeks. Especially the first week, because that was painful. And it wasn't the extractions, guys. It was the actual denture. The denture was fucking killing me all through here and here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I still get mouth sores in, like, these spots. And all that, and you know, I I let it work its way out. You know what I mean? Because my gums are still shrinking. But not only that, is if if I do my own adjustments and I keep doing it, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger. My denture, right? Just like for anybody, your denture. The more adjustments you do, the bigger your denture gets. And you have to understand that when your gums shrink, it within a week you won't even have that pain anymore, unless you know you have to trim up here so you're not wanting to die. But you have to understand that you have to get used to it, and your gums shrink. And when your gums shrink, that pain's not going to be there anymore because your, your gums are no longer on it. So, you got to have patience. You do. And I noticed that when I was doing it because I was like, crap. All right, let me wait a few days. I'm going to see how this goes. If not, you know, I'll, I'll take care of it myself. Nope, within three days, the pain was completely freaking gone. Done. No more sore. And I was like, that's good. I'm glad I didn't do so many adjustments on my mouth. Like, I'm glad. I'm, my dentist might have did one. Or, no, 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 two. Because he did one the first day, and then the um, the next week he did another adjustment. But that was it. All the other adjustments, um, I either sucked it up, and because my gums shrink, or if it was these tops that, you know, when they push up, they go into your bone, that I use a regular nail file and I trim down. Again, that video is in my uploads, my videos. Go check it out. But... 
gotta have patience, guys. I know it's painful. I really do. It, it sucks. I, like, I can't even describe it to you guys. You know. You already know. It's evil. It's... I remember, like, wearing my denture when I first got it done didn't hurt. Taking them out and putting them in should be a sin. I would be like, all right, God, and I'd be, like, praying. I'd be praying to God, and i put them in, and I'm like, thank God for Benzaden, because people, like, go put it on your denture. Um, as soon as you put your denture in, it actually moves the Benzaden, and it freaking falls down. You have to put it on your gums, and even what the box says, too. If you put the Benzaden wherever you're hurting, I just, I literally, when I first started out, put it, you know, on my gum all the way around this area, and waited about five minutes, and then I slowly put my denture back in, no pain. Or it was like, no, like very little pain. And I was like, thank Jesus. So ever, anybody who told me to get Benzin at my first journey, if you guys are watching this, thank you. You're awesome. Um, but I am going to do videos. I already have a few videos going, breaking down um, what are don't do adjustments, what are things that you do need to do adjustments on. You know, things to look out for, um, even oral thrush with dentures. Like, there's a lot of them going on, but I don't want to make too long videos. So, I'm trying to keep it under a certain amount, but I suck at it, guys. I really do. Got to get better at this. But <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. I will do more videos just like this one to go more into detail. I just don't want to make it too long for you guys to where you don't want to watch this. So I hope you guys have a great day. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. I love you guys. You can email me anytime. Have a good day, all. God bless and stay safe. Later.